that that you need to improve your squad practice? Mm -hmm. Like, for example, you said with your book, that could have gone out of the way. Um, discouragement, receiving discouragement is always a choice. There's um, encouragement, which is encourage, or discouragement, which, which removes your courage, right? And so you, that's why it's important to go back to what God told you. Write it down in the very beginning. Make sure your vision's clear and, and write it down. Because the enemy will come. He will come. Jesus didn't say, if the prince of this world comes. <laughs> the prince of this world just came. When the prince of this world comes, he has nothing in me. You know, and so... Um, he will come, and he will he will taunt you, and he will try to discourage you. And the more powerful the vision, the more he'll try to discourage you. He'll try to take your courage out of you. But God is the God of all encouragement. So he's the one who keeps you in courage, right? So when you feel discouragement, go to the Lord to get courage. Go to the Lord's Lord, because he is the God of all encouragement. And always know that discouragement is not from God. I was discouraged about something just recently, just this week. I was really discouraged. And, um, but I know that the truth is not that God brings discouragement. I know that. I know that he's a God of all encouragement. And so I made that choice in my, in my will, by, but, but my emotions weren't freed up from the discouragement yet. So I just called a couple of intercessors, and I said, can you pray, you know, because emotionally... I feel the discouragement. I'd already made my choice not to buy into the lie, but I was too busy actually to, you know, I had things to do that I had to go on with, so I left it with the intercessors, can you pray off this discouragement? And in about three hours, it was totally lifted. You know, and in fact, the exact opposite, I was in joy. You know, I had, I had more boldness and courage than I had for days, you know? So um, just always know that discouragement is never from God. And um, and sometimes, I mean, it's just good to be honest. Man, I feel bummed that this has so much work to be done on it yet. But then you have to say, okay, but we can do it. You know, I mean, oftentimes, I mean, I can't tell you how many times we have stuff come through our ministry desk that is like, oh, man, we got to redo this. we got to, oh, man, we got to do that. And the work piles up, and you think, whoa, I'm overwhelmed. But when you're overwhelmed, you go to the walk that is higher than, than you, and we just say, okay, we can do this. Just one piece at a time, we can do this. Come on, team, we can do it. You know, Even just before this uh, film, film fest came, there was um, a mistake that had been made in one of the things. We had to pull everything out. We had to pull everything out and then staple some loose sheets. And I mean, we had already spent a whole day packing everything in, and then we, we thought we were done. And then the day before the film fest, we had to pull everything out of 3,000 packages. And, and, you know, I mean, that's, that can be discouraging. I mean, on this one, one piece, I mean, because it was these loose papers that need to come out, put a title page on, and be, be stapled. Because they were all in there loose. In 3,000 magazines, they were in there loose. <laughs> and so, yeah, I, you know, I was, up at, I was up late that night, and I looked at it, and I thought, this isn't going to work. I was, I was, you know, bummed. <laughs> but I thought, no, we can do it. So you see? The bums, you know, you're discouraged for a moment, but then the next moment you choose courage. No, we can do it. Got on the phone and said, hey, sorry guys, but we're going to have to work today because we got to redo this. And you know what? God gave us so much joy. We had so much fun redoing it. We had fun together. We're pulling the things out, putting the cover sheets on. My husband and I are working with the two and just putting the staples in. And we just had a great time, you know? So it's usually an attitude. Your discouragement is a choice, always. Dis you know, if you buy into discouragement, it's your choice. You're there because you chose it. But um, but we all do it, you know? And so that's our opportunity to learn to come out of it. And the critiquing, just, just start to believe it's good. If you don't believe it's good for you, then you'll never really enjoy it. But if you believe it's good, you'll start to enjoy it. And it's usually an attitude change that changes your whole perspective on it. You know, you just... You're not attacking your talent. They're just saying, well, you're, you have something good, and you're thinking, you be better. Exactly. And some people do attack you. I mean, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Some people not only attack your talent, 
they attack you. <laughs> and, they, and, and, and they, like, you have to know God's voice and the devil's voice. You, you do. The, the devil's voice, he is an accuser. He accuses you as a person. It's not about what you're doing. It's that he, he accuses you as a person, you know. And so if, if any person does that, they're being used by the enemy, you know. God loves them, but they're being used by the enemy, right? So you have to rightly divide that and say, well, I'm not taking that because God doesn't think that way about me. I don't know God's voice like that. He loves me, you know? When my grandchild gives me his little projects that he works on, I just love them, you know? And God loves you and loves your projects, right? So um, you always have to know that, like that, that's him. So you have to learn to rightly divide. But on the critiquing, learn to love a good good critique. And learn to rightly divide and throw out, throw out what you can't receive, because not everyone's critique is accurate. 